In this video, we will discuss what compare item URLs are used for and how an eBay seller could use them, but also why they might not want to use them. The most common use of the compare item URL is to use your own eBay item link for reference and then have estimated profit based upon the selling price it reads from that URL, which would be the compare price minus your approximate fees and supplier costs. If you go to the My Items grid and are adding an item to SKU grid, typically you would be adding in the ref ID, supplier URL, and variation, and for compare item URL, you would use your own eBay item link. Fill in the reprice marketplace, reprice SKU, eBay item ID, and add the item. When you return to the grid, you will see that your current selling price is displayed on the grid, and you'll see that your estimated profit is not a negative number. However, if you remove the compare item URL, which cannot be removed just by deleting, you must enter a hashtag followed by a long number, example, hashtag 12345 Instead of the compare item URL, you'll see that once you save and return to the grid, your estimated profit will display as a negative number. Since estimated profit is selling price minus supplier price and approximate fees, if selling price is zero because no URL is present here, anything subtracted from zero is always a negative number. It is actually not recommended for eBay sellers to use compare item URLs due to eBay's algorithms relying heavily on sell-through rate, which is your listing views to sales. If an eBay seller uses their eBay item link as the compare to item URL, it will result in extra views at every repricing check for every item. For example, if you are set to have your repricing checker run every hour, since there are 24 hours in a day, you can expect an extra 24 views on each item per day that really adds up. And if you are not getting sales in a good ratio to those extra views, you will end up drastically lowering your sell-through ratio, which will in turn lower your exposure, position and best match, and ultimately the real traffic that you get that could potentially result in a sale. So it is advised that if you are an eBay seller, not to use compare item URLs, but if you insist on using them, it is your eBay item link that should be filled in the compare to item URL field. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.